Okay, so today we're going to revisit Nitrook. So it's been a little while since we last saw it on the channel. I'll pop a link up there if you want to watch the last video. But since then, there's been quite a few changes to sort of how Nitrook is implemented. So now we don't use ZNX anymore for sort of deploy. It's a traditional install. And as you can see, the um, it's sort of changed the way it's laid out by default. So you used to have a dock at the bottom and a panel at the top. But it's gone for a one panel solution now and it's got a normal installation method. So we're going to install it and then we'll just have a look around and just have a quick sort of refresh since last time so let's go to next yep yep okay let's just go for a straight erase disk doesn't give you the option to add a swap in this one though and it looks like the default is b btrfs file system as well interesting okay let's go to next let's type in our names oh let me just change that to lappy and then we're going to type in our password and we're going to log in automatically. Oh, go away, debug info. And then we're going to log in automatically. So let's click next. Right, let's review those options. So it's going to give us one EFI partition of 300 megabytes, FAT32, and then it's going to give us the rest of it all on route at BTRFS. Um, keyboard and location is all correct. Brilliant. So we go, oh, the Nitrix installer is about, yep, that's fine. <clears throat> okay, so once that's all finished, we'll come back and we'll boot it off disk. And we'll just have a little look around and just sort of refresh ourselves. I don't know if too much has changed apart from what I've just mentioned, but we'll have a look anyway. Okay, we're all installed now and they didn't take too long. So what we're going to do now is just quickly have a look at what versions of things we've got. And then we'll just have a little look around to sort of reacquaint ourselves. So first off, we're going to open up the terminal, which I do believe they call Station now. So here's your terminal. What I want to do is just run a quick update. So it's based on Ubuntu and I do believe apt now works as your sort of package manager so you can actually install your applications using apt and they will still be there when you reboot i'm pretty sure that's the way it's being done now so here you can see what repositories we've got so it's based on ubuntu bionic and it's also got the repo for nx os which is the nitrix repo and i think that's mainly what you've got there yeah cool so we're going to see which upgrades we've got there actually we're just going to do it we should do a straight upgrade and let that do its thing right we're going to minimize that so let's have a look at what versions of things we have got. So quickly, I'm just going to quickly open up the about. Oh, it's disappeared from me. About system information. So it's using KDE Plasma version 5.18.2, KDE Frameworks 5.67.0, and Qt version 5.14.1. And we are using kernel 5.4.23, blah, 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 generic. Okay. Right, that's that. So is that update still going? Yes, it is. Uh, it's finished. So what we're going to do is just test out installing a program. Let's just go for... It's probably already got Kate, but it doesn't have Kate. So I think they've dropped quite a few of the old programs that they were using in the old one because they're going to sort of be building upon these Maui apps, which we will have a look at as well. Um, last time when I checked it out, there was a little discrepancy between the Maui app settings and what you could set in system settings. I remember there was a bit of an issue. I couldn't get single click. Uh, double click to work instead of single click on index so hopefully that's been addressed so let's have a look oh our bottom panel has disappeared and now it's back okay right let's open up the file manager again as i say which is called index and it's from the maui kit i quite like the way it looks so is it single click still yes it is is there a setting added on here now to change that so here you can show thumbnails show hidden files and show status bar what I'm going to do then is go into the normal KDE settings and see if we can change it to double click in there. Because last time it just it wouldn't work. It would work on sort of Dolphin and stuff, but it wouldn't follow through on the Maui stuff. So I'm going to assume that has been addressed. Let's have a look. Um, single click. There we go. So if we go into general behavior now, so double click and then we click apply. And I'm hoping, because I'm... I really don't like single click. Hopefully now everything's a double click. So if I select it, perfect, double click. There we go. That's perfect for me. Um, I can probably actually get to use this a bit more now. That was the only thing that put me off from the last one with the um, the lack of a double click. Right, let's just see what it comes installed with then. Because as I say, there's going to be a few changes here because it's sort of changed the way it's doing things. So you've no longer got ZNX. It's a traditional install. So it bundles, it still bundles app images there and integrates them into the system, which is good. There's the application we've just installed. Can we drag that into a folder? Hmm. There we go. Add to favorites, edit application. What does that do? No. Okay, we won't worry about that for now. So bundled apps, it comes with install itch.io. KDE apps, it's going to probably have 
most of the KDE suite here. Oh no, so you've got Arc. So it still has Latte Dock if you wanted to add a dock and move your panel to the top and get the sort of same look it had on the other one. Spectacle System Settings Discover, so you can install your packages now using the Discover Store. KCALC, KDE Partition, Caden Live. It's very nice to see Caden Live out of the box. KSIS Guard. Let's open up Caden Live and see how that looks on here. And let's keep going. So in the Maui apps now, Buho, what's this one then? Is this like an image viewer or something? No, this is notes. I thought we already had a note taker. Hold on. Let me go back to the Maui app folder. Noter. So it's got two note apps now. I guess one's different from the other. You can create a new document by clicking new file here. And then you can do the same here, I'm going to imagine, yeah. So if we created a... Huh, okay. Oh, okay, that's quite nice. Nice. And then you can add tags as well. And you can sort of favourite things, put a little heart. And then just chuck it in the bin, which is what we're going to do. So let's get rid of that one now. Okay, let's have a look at the other Maui apps that we've got installed out of the box. I do actually quite like the way it looks with just a single panel, actually. I think they've done a good job there. Um, theming's nice. Right. So now we've still got Pix, which is an image viewer. Contacts, let's have a look at Contacts. We won't have anything there for it, but there we go. Very simple, nice layout. I do like these whole Maui kit apps. Um, they are going to sort of be sort of convergent, if you like, so dynamic. So obviously you could run them on a phone and stuff, and they'll sort of fit to your display, if you like. So very nice. All right, let's close that. So this is Caden Live. It's just full screen that. No, it doesn't like a double click on the title bar at the moment. And let's just go and see what version it's running of Caden Live. Can I see anywhere? Oh, the phone's just done something. No. About Caden Live, I think we pressed the wrong one. There we go. So it's using version MLT 6.18.0, and this is version 19.12.3. Is, I think that might be the latest version as well. And Firefox is now your default web browser instead of the Waterfox app image that you got from the recent ones that were still using ZNX. So let's go to Caden Live and I just want to see if that is the latest version of Caden Live. Let's just go into a download and then we'll just see if that is the latest version. Let's just go into app image for now. So scroll all the way down 19.2.3. I think that is the one, isn't it? 19.12.3 brilliant so it's running the latest version available of Caden Live which is nice to see so let's close that and let's close that and let's close that so let's go and see what else is installed out of the box now so is index your primary file manager or does it also have Dolphin no so the only file manager you do have now is index but obviously you can install Dolphin by just going like this and then that will install Dolphin for you as well. Let's keep going. So we've looked at the Maui apps, QT apps. Let's see what's in there. So I can see Cavantum and in QPDF view. So Cavantum will help with the theming manager and stuff like that. In your utilities now. So Firefox also has GIMP out of the box, which is very nice to see. Inkscape, I like these icons. Very nice icons. So it also comes with LibreOffice, LMMS. So it's really sort of going for a content creator vibe here. I like it. Um, it's not wanting to open that though. Okay, I'm going to see what version of LibreOffice we've got. Right, nothing wants to do anything. I'm going to do a reboot, and then we'll um, we'll get back into it. Okay, and we're back. Hopefully now we've got over that little issue where programs wouldn't open, probably because we did a, an upgrade and it just sort of didn't take hold properly. So let's try and open LMMS again. There we go. Working directory does not exist. Would you like to create it now? Yes. So I think it's like a digital audio workstation of sorts. I've not actually spent too much time with it at all. Please note that most changes won't take effect until you restart LMMS. Yeah, so there we go. It really is sort of targeting you know, the content creator by the looks of things, and I quite like that. I think this is probably going to be my one to watch for the sort of foreseeable future. I do like the, the whole setup of Nitrix. I think it's very nice. Right, so let's open up LibreOffice now and see what version of LibreOffice we're running. Nice, so it's got, is it the tabbed interface or a ribbon? I think that's the tabbed interface, isn't it, out of the box. So we're running LibreOffice version 6.4, and I do believe that is the latest version available as well. So let's just go on to 
their website now and just see if that is the latest version I'm pretty sure it is and then we'll have a little look at the NX firewall we'll get a RAM reading at boot and then we'll wrap it up there but if you want to sort of see anything else I'll, as I said I'll chuck a link to the other video I done on it not too long ago so let's have a look at the latest version of LibreOffice and see if this is indeed the latest version I think it is if we just go to download now so 6.4.1 so yeah this is pretty much the latest version as well which you can't complain about at all really um, very up to date these programs that they've got installed out of the box here um, I'm not too used to this layout though so that will take some getting used to um, I do believe you can change it somewhere it's been a while but that's very nice right I'm just gonna see what the default theming is for these icons because I'm, I'm sure these are new icons for Libra I think they're beautiful icons look at them very nice right so if we go into is it icons just the icons package there we go so it's got all the typical stuff you'd find in the sort of KDE thing now so yep it's the same pa um, icons that they've used before but I think they might have updated them liberal office icons I could be wrong but they're very nice um, and then if we go into just the global themes now we can just sort of confirm that it's still using the same theme as before there we go so you've got Nitrous Dark, Nitrix and Nitrix Mix so let's go and have a look at this one click apply there we go so you get a bit of a lighter feel to it that's quite nice as well actually let's open index and see how index looks with it nice I like that I like that indeed it feels a lot more cohesive this version than the, um, the version I last looked at actually so let's go and apply this one so that is now giving us the black bar at the bottom and I'm going to imagine its applications are still white yes they are nice very nice indeed I'm going to go on to the default nitrous dark though because dark themes are my favorite and then we're going to do a reboot check the RAM and then we're just going to wrap it up there but I think this is a, a very good sort of overall update and I, I think I probably prefer it without the ZNX all right we're back in so let's just grab HTOP very quickly in fact it might even have it installed let's have a look it does so we're using 740 megabytes ram at boot cplization is exactly what it should be anywhere from zero to single digits which is fine we have no swap because i say we didn't create one and it didn't create one by default on this machine so i'm going to assume that'll be the same for most but no really liking this um that's been nitrix version 1.2.6 let me just double check that <laughs> let's go back into the about so this has been Nitrix version 1.2.6 build 280220. Um, I'll leave a link in the description if you want to go and download it. It is free. There is no donation required. Very good work. I'm enjoying this. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.